Hey, welcome to Beyond the Pole. We are WRFZ LP Rochester, 106.3 Rochester Radio. You can check us out on the TuneIn app. I'm Katrina Lee. We have Oz, Suzanne. What up, what up? Hello. And we have a new Facebook page because ours was destroyed after two years of hard work. Douche. But we can start over again. So it is Beyond the Pole Live. Is that a fine? It there's only like eleven people on it so far. I haven't really got too far. Actually, I didn't even remember my password, so I can't add Oz on, so we can add his own pictures. But we're getting there in the next couple of days. <laughs> yeah, we got a zillion. And we're gonna videos get to a new to. cover photo and get all the stuff up there. So. We need to do a beyond the pole photo shoot. We, we need yeah, to that's what I said. We're gonna do. Friends. I actually posted it, so we'll get all together and you know get caught up. Oh, sweet. So. I know. Die for, for Chris Cardwell. Where are you at, homie? <laughs> And it's exciting because, you know what, um, January 1st, I started two years ago, and it's going to be a two-year anniversary. Oh, nice. Coming, so we got to figure out a party or something. Ooh. Aside from the fact that every club had Christmas parties and now New Year's parties. But it did tonight. We everybody. might as well have our own party. Might Today as well. was a very busy day. I missed out on the fun. Um, I spent most of the day in the hospital on an accident, but hey, it's been really messed up the past month. Actually, since the accident in October. Yeah, man, you that's been dragging along for a it's long dragging, time. It's dragging, but you man. know what? I can't be basic, so I have to be that girl who actually drives <laughs> through a fence, hits a tree, goes airbound, hits a tractor, turns the car upside down over and over Free and the over, horses. hits a hits a barn, knocks it off the foundation, Boom. and lights herself on fire with Takata airbags, and then gets blasted with shrapnel. That sounds horrible. It is actually horrible, but luckily my face wasn't injured and I'm alive. What's They're your t-shirt saying? shocked I'm alive. Uh, why wouldn't I? That should be your new t-shirt yeah, for the year. Yeah, why? Why? Wouldn't why, I? why? Why wouldn't why? you set some stuff on fire? Because, and like, something awful is going to, you know, <laughs> there's some reason for me out there. <laughs> The leader. Satan's like, no, only the good die young and you're too evil. So we're not ready for you yet. But no doubt. Lots of things. Um, I missed a couple of the shows because I was really, really sick in the hospital. And we did some shows in the hospital during this band. So even today, I almost missed it. But I'm like, no, I'm not. Bro. So, a lot of things went on today. Uh, Tally Ho is Christmas party in Rochester. I didn't make it to that, obviously. And then the Barrel had yeah. a big party. I might pop over there after this. For sure. I saw Paco posting about it. He was going in over at the Barrel. Everyone's over there. So Dope. that's like the place where Dude, we're last week so. I walked into the show as I was getting your text message. You're like, I'm not going to show up. My I leg said earlier, you just didn't get it. I didn't get it. I walk in. As I walked this through, I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, there's no guest. There's, I'm like, okay, so we have two hours, no topic, no host. All right. There is Never a topic. Do. I mean, I just go with the flow and come up with stuff, but I'm a chatter, so you're probably right. not. So, me and a microphone just sitting there, yeah. like, there's nobody to talk to, nobody to converse with. I'm like, all right. Yeah. To but guess you did a good job for covering it, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. I'm like, I'm so sick. I'm like, I don't even want to be delirious on the phone. Bro, I called my mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. My mom would have hung up. <laughs> like, no, I'm not talking to you. Get she, off like, the phone. She set up prayer. She's like, oh, I'm like, oh hey, 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 mom, how's it going? Hi, mom. Love you. Guess what we're doing <laughs> but yeah um it's christmas i'm coming and mm. new year's and a lot of big things speaking fun. of christmas what do you think about this whole santa claus being gender or, or race neutral what i do you just think saw about that? all those posts on facebook and um you know i just think like leave them alone like i think it's getting really weird it's kind of scary everyone's like so strange and they're saying it's all the liberals no i don't think it is i just think it's like Small portion of society. So, so pick a side. Leave Santa the way he is, or is I she... leave Santa. See the way I, I mean. Feel... There's like a I don't know, someone who is like kind of big and could portray Santa, just because you're a last minute had no choice. But I mean, really, you know. So chick or guy, it's a dude. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Deep okay. down, Santa is a dude. Okay, so but anyone can portray a dude, and you can draw on mustaches or anything on anyone. As actors, like back in the day with Shakespeare, right. it was a lot of men who were dude, portraying the female right. part. For sure, very true. So that's the you know like whatever. It's a little different, but they still weren't saying that they were a certain gender role. See, the way I see it is, I wasn't raised with Santa Claus in my house. I was raised Muslim. So to me, Santa, like when when I got to it, Santa was more like the spirit of Christmas. It wasn't really a person. The 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 image of Santa Claus is like a brand. It's it's a symbol. It's a logo. You know, however each person or each household individually interprets that, I feel like that's their own thing. You know, I feel like Santa Claus, the way we see him now today, is like the spirit of Christmas. We see him as the, the logo of Christmas. He's what yeah. he represents it. Whether it's a she or a he with black or white, it can be different things to different people. So if you're Santa Claus, just like you're Jesus, if he's Korean Jack Jesus, that's cool. If he's black Jesus, that's great. If he's Arab Jesus, fantastic. If he's white Jesus, 
That's it's not true. It's a little work though, <laughs> because kidding. all the religions, what people celebrate though, they have Saint Nick Day, right. and it's earlier. And then a lot of my um, Catholic friends, they put like all this stuff by their kids' boots, and some will go over the top because they have money. So like, oh, their kids get like all these toys and stuff. And it's not really fair to the other kids. It's kind of strange. But you know, I say you know maybe screw Santa and go for Krampus. Krampus, that's where it's <laughs> to at. celebrate Krampus all the way. Roxy Love actually decided that she's not going to celebrate Christmas again. I didn't know when I sent her a kid Christmas gifts earlier. She's like, "No, we only celebrate Winter Solstice. There's no such thing as Santa." I'm like, "Okay, she's such a okay." Witch. <laughs> like, Roxy, all right, awesome. but yet he's posing in front of every Christmassy thing you could find because kids nowadays with like Facebook and social media and phones and selfies like love pictures yeah, I don't know if sure. their parents are ruining them or what's going on but it's kind of going yeah. that direction uh, I, I they're like take that. a picture of me take a picture of me it's not necessarily the parents anymore now they get trained and it's like come on look the look the kids are me, looking look for me. the attention too yeah. for sure I understand like that. Snapchat That's I need that filter I need that filter already at a young age and like you already don't know what they look like it's like come on like oh, your kids are all weird they got like deer horns oh, and like see. bunny ears and they look like kitty cats so. that is true I, yeah, I did read an article the With other day fake eyelashes and <laughs> regarding social media I read an article the other day remember how we're talking about if you post negative stuff on social media then your like more negative stuff will come into your news feed. Yeah, and it's more. It's like a downward spiral of All stuff. All of it, whatever you post in, it pops up. Right. There was a study done that in places where it's raining and people post about raining and being down because of the weather, it affects people in their circle, which attracts people outside their circle. So okay. in cities that it's raining okay. in and people are depressed, it's a, it's okay. it's taking people down in cities connected to That's it. Just sad. So it's like a vortex of just crap of yeah. negative thoughts and feelings a because vortex of, of negativity. Right, where you're posting on social media, you're, you're putting negativity stuff, negative stuff out there you're getting negative stuff back so be mindful when you're putting stuff out there it's it's karma but it's instant on social I media i try to post funny things that you know are enjoyable for everyone and like shareable but every once in a while like um uh, maybe i'm intoxicated or like i had a bad day and i'm not Murder. thinking it out so i throw something on there and then i'm like oh and then i remove it if it's really negative but yeah it's a little rough with the accident it's been a little kind of beaten down yeah, everybody goes to their there. things man you wouldn't be <laughs> try positive i'm like holding it best down as i can you you want to be a fraction of a person you are today. I have a giant hole today. in my leg, okay, everyone? A Literally fraction. a hole in my leg. <laughs> if you didn't go through all the stuff you went through, you wouldn't That's be true. a fraction. You wouldn't be sitting here today. You wouldn't be Katrina. You and I wouldn't have done be helping nothing. others. Right. I would not care. I'd so, be, be selfish probably. It's I've not, been perfect. Had everything I ever wanted from my parents who gave me everything I wanted as a little princess. Everybody. And be spoiled rotten and not care and be married and just do my own little thing. You know, you don't don't wish wish for, for less burden in your life. No. You wish for stronger shoulders to care carry that burden and that's something that you've done so always remember no matter what you're going through you can get through it because you've done it before and it made you a better person every single time yeah no i agree i just don't want to be lit on fire and have shrapnel blast in my leg ever again but so anyone <laughs> but knows takata airbags takata <laughs> airbags are bad a lot of people got safety recall notices in their car from takata airbags it's not a joke if you got it go get it fixed don't ignore it because something really horrible can happen to you if there's an accident. Many people that died because it blasted shrapnel in their necks. It blasted shrapnel into my leg and I started on fire because of it. And I almost died and lost my leg multiple times. It's not a joke. Take care of it. If you get a car recall notice, take care of it. It's not funny. It's awful. And people say, oh, it's not a big deal. I'm so busy. I can put it away. You don't know if you're going to hit a deer. You don't know if some drunk guy or anyone's going to just fender bender you. You don't know. You don't know what airbag's going to shoot off. Bro. I'm, it's serious. It's a big deal. I, oh, you're eating the warheads. Like warhead I love warheads. I'm like a candy right holic. And I've they're been so good. since like 2003. So good. Me. Yeah, no, I eat them all the time. I go specifically to the dollar store because you can't find them anywhere else, and I stockpile, and I have drawers and drawers of candy. Oh, yeah, you got There's new ones. There's special new warheads. They're yeah. warhead sours. These are oh, sours. Ballin'. So good. These ones are amazing. These are new up. mixed ones. They have warheads now. They're smash-ups. They're extreme sour. This is a mango melon. Mango Flavors melon. that never existed before. I was so delighted. I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's good. But I think it's a good time to cut into a song break and have a cheese platter that I got the Pan's Labyrinth from Knox. So yay. Knox, shout out. Thanks for cheese platter. I think it's time. Hey, welcome to Beyond the Pole Radio with Katrina Lee and Ascent. And up? you can check us out every Thursday, 10 o'clock till midnight. 
And we're here, and um, normally this is a spot where Dawn from Foreplay comes and tells us about the sex toy of the week. We miss you, Dawn. We miss Dawn and her naughtiness, and, um, but she's in Cabo with her kids, and she's having a great time and enjoying Mexico. And I'm jealous, and she you can look on her page and see all her half-naked pictures of her hanging out, her boobs, and like, Don's look at me, look at me. probably really doing Mexico. Absolutely, absolutely enjoying Literally it. doing Mexico. Literally yeah. doing Mexico, enjoying the time of her life. So, I'm going to take over the sex toy of the week for her a little bit. Oh, Jesus. So, Dawn does a lot of charity work with yes, homeless people, and she does Feeds the Nights of the Homeless People in um, Buffalo. And then she also did Toys for Tots. And if you give a toy for a tot, you got a toy for your twat. So what happened is we had bullets and sex toys that if you donated a toy, we gave you a bullet for yourself. So it was like win-win all the way around. And that was really nice. So it was for the number four, playbuzz.com, that did it. But I have gotten a lot of sex toys um, over the years. And there's so many different ones with USB charging points now. Before, they were like batteries and they would die out now. Now, you have to like stick them literally in your iPhone charger and like plug away. I was sitting here suffering because my like warhead's butt. It's so good, but it's so yeah. sour. It's so good, though. But <gasps> it's a sex toy. So, there's this thing called sex tarts. And it's um, a lube. And it tastes like Sour Patch Kids, and it's, like, amazing. It's called Sex Tarts, and they have it in, like, green apple, cherry, um, mango, lemon, all different stuff, and pineapple. And, oh, my God, it's so good. Like, you just want to eat it. It's, like, amazing. And it's not really sticky, so if you douse it on yourself or your lover before you lick it all off their packages or they lick it off you, Yo, that was like, intense. it's not bad. <laughs> Man. It's really good. So, everything with Dawn and her products are all American-made, and they're all local, and then she does so much charity work. It's absolutely amazing. She's just an incredible person. I love how she does a charity work for people that are low-income but are working every single day. That's yeah, really the working class. I thought that was really dope. The working poor, I thought that was a fantastic Yeah, because some people are like kind of mooching off the system. There are people who like are working hard, but they just can't get to the next level <sighs> yet. And uh, she raised so many toys. Like, if you can look at our website, it's incredible. I helped her raise a lot. Um, I would have gotten more if I wasn't crippled in a hospital and, like, I'm um, down and out for a while. Like, You're um, still missing, like, 12% of your life. I am, you showed me some I'm walking around. Yuck. I'm functioning now. So I'm a functioning, Ugh. like, disabled person right now. So. Jesus. <laughs> I am. I, I am technically, they gave me a handicap pass and a cane, okay? Word? Yeah. Let me get that cane, yeah, though. I have a handicap pass and a cane. I need a cane. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to use a cane. I'm sorry. I'm going to struggle and I wear stripper shoes and pretend I'm okay and smile. Yo, but the problem might have been is that I was like acting like it was okay and I was working and then I was hiding my leg underneath knee socks because it's on my shin. So I got away with it a little more than I probably I'm a fan should've. of knee socks. I, I love, knee, love socks, knee socks and you can hide everything, all the flaws. I love females in knee socks. But I also like to wear like thigh high or knee socks myself because they're just warm as hell. They're warm. Yo, I yeah. put my thermals on, like the like the running stuff underneath my clothes, and then I put the knee socks and the thigh highs up all the way up. And yeah. I put another pair of socks, a thermal, and then a hoodie, and I'm good to go no matter what. Jacket, no jacket, I'm Gucci. I got a battle tested. Yeah, they're right amazing now. Hell knee yeah. socks, especially if it's cold out. You're at Bills yeah. game or something. I mean, wow. Bills game now. I don't play yeah. that game no more. I'll go drink it in the parking lot, but I'm not going into a Bills yeah, game. Yeah, I don't I'm do that stuff. It's stupid. I'm past that Forty-seven dollars for a beer. Learn my no. I learned my lesson about it all. It's like drunken idiots, like starting fights and drama for no oh, reason. It's like I don't mind all that. Really? I just oh, don't I like tried to avoid that. The cold. <laughs> no. And then when you have a leg injury, you kind of stay away from that. So I'm healing. I um, got a major car accident in October and. Still healing. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. Not 100%, but we are trying to get there. Close enough. So today is a barrel, a dolls party. Barrel, and tell you uh, So go, if you're in Rochester, go, go, go. Lots of strippers who are naked, happy, and want to make your dreams and fantasies come true. So you're uh, plugging the hell out the barrel right now. No, she barrel. I didn't tell you. Yes, we're right plugging right. both. So happy, happy, happy. Say hi. And we have some recordings. I wasn't, I planned actually initially to go there and I was going to like record the girl saying Merry Christmas and everything. And I wasn't able to, but Gary, our amazing new soundboard producer, Gary, has a recording. Gary, 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 do you know how to do Gary. it? Do you have to wait? You got it on deck, Gary? 
He's afraid. Come he won't on, talk Gary. To Gary, are Get you on talking the to the ball, mic? Gary. God damn it, Gary. He won't say he's afraid. He won't say anything on the mic. He's, he's shy. He's, he's not sweating. speaking in, Gary. Speak in the mic. I but, you know, <laughs> Christmas is coming, and Santa rewards the naughtiest girls better than he does in <laughs> the nice girls. The naughty you are, the more gifts you get. You're better off to have 10 boyfriends than one boyfriend. Sorry, it's a fact. I wasted my time with one dud and uh, spent money, and now I'm like, what was I thinking? What a disappointment. Be used. Boom. No, but it's fun. <laughs> well, we told yeah. you. That was your fault, Katrina. Hot pan, no. hot pan, hot pan. That's what I'm getting for Christmas. I'm going to get you a hot pan. It's going to always stay hot, hot every time you touch hot it. Like, oh, 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 it's going to be I'm hours asking. of entertainment for me oh. because I know you're going to touch a damn thing. I will. I'll be like, oh, I can't stop going back. So um, <laughs> big things while we're looking for the fun. Toe Come toe on, Gary. And Gary's getting there, but here we are. Did that come out okay? It did, yeah. Let's do the next one. It was Sadie or something from Tally Ho. Yeah. Hi, this is Blue from Tally Ho. Season greetings. Blue is always on day shift. She's sexy as hell. You'll love her. There's your stripper holiday greetings for you. <laughs> There's more coming on your stripper holiday greetings. Yes, they're great. So we have more coming. We'll start with those and we're not more. But yeah, Blue's really pretty. She's got really different eyes. They kind of merge in her face. Like do, she's do unique. She's a lot of No, not me. Hi. But yeah. Hi. Hi. And then we got to call in our number one fan. Oh, yeah. We got to call our whole boy like, Chris. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And I think so Justin's I think it's too. a good time to call Chris in. And uh, let's go. A quick song. Like one song. And then yeah, call. A song. I'll smoke a cereal. Call yeah, Chris. Yeah, a song or two. Yeah. Dang, and then dang. we're going to call Chris in. Hey, welcome back to WR... FZ 106.3 FM, RochesterFreeRadio.com. Sitting here with Katrina Lee, Beyond the Pole Radio. We got a boy Chris on the phone. We got a boy Justin in the studio. Uh, yeah. First, we're going to say what's up fine? to Chris. What's going on, Chris? First of all, I want to say thank you for supporting us. Thank you for holding us down, constantly listening, giving us your feedback. We appreciate yeah, thank you. Thank you, Chris. We love you. You're, You're great. Thank you. So how you doing tonight, um, man? What you doing? I'm just hanging out right now. I'm getting ready to... Uh, Sit down and have a beer real quick. Nice, nice. nice. So what's your show? You, I know you got your own little podcast that you do. What is this podcast? Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I started it about four years ago. It was a joke. And then I started getting really serious feedback on it. And people took me, you know, took me seriously. So I decided to... Hold on a second. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, brother. Yep, we hear you. All right. People started taking it seriously, so I... Started to take it seriously, and uh, eventually it just became something bigger, you know. Nice. Yeah. What's the name of your show? The World According to Chris. The World According to Chris. Well, again, Chris, we appreciate you, and we hope to have you back on the show. Maybe we can have some topics on hand, and we'll go over, man. I appreciate you calling in. Thanks. We'll talk to you again soon. Definitely. All right, peace, Sounds brother. Good. Thank you, Chris. Nice talking to you. You're welcome. So we have a special guest in the house. Why don't you tell us about him? All right, this is my boy Justin. Say what's up. Yeah. Hello. What's yeah. popping? Yeah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> hey, Rochester, what's going on? So Hello. we actually have a gig book together, Justin. Why don't you yeah. tell people about this I gig? I heard kind it's of a little bit about very... it because I was supposed to be at the same party. Yeah, You know, man. if I was into foreign, but hey. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> yeah, we kind of got this bad Santa thing going on, me and my man Oz here. Yeah, boy. You know, of course, we play practical jokes, going up women's skirts, whatever you like. We go, <laughs> we're doing it all. Come see us at the Carlson, man, the 22nd. It That's was real this, sat this Saturday. Saturday, yeah. It was mad, like like serendipitous. Like he's like he hits me up. He's like, "Yo, Oz, hit me up ASAP." And I was like, "Yo, what's good?" Yeah. And he's like, "Yo, here's a number. Would you do this bad Santa thing with That's me?" Fine. And I was like, "Bet I'll do it." So I called a number, and all of a sudden, bad drip. And I'm like, "Yeah, this way I thought you were doing the bad drip <laughs> Christmas party. Is the bad drip Christmas party linked to the car?" Yeah, Carlson? that's what it is. Yeah, I was like, "Wait." Okay, yeah, because so, I was invited to the party. I was a separate person asking right. to go. 
So it's funny. The I went through monkey the whole handler thing. The was monkey like, handler. yeah, the monkey handler. You ever met the monkeys? Oh no. You haven't met the you monkeys. You haven't met oh, the no. monkeys. Bro, oh wow. They pissed on me. They were really uh, nice, but they're getting aggressive now as they're older. They were so <laughs> cute, and now they bite and they throw poop at you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're really nice, but they're looking for a full-grown adult kangaroo to add into the collection. I will fight the hell out of a monkey and that throws poop on me. Hey, beat that monkey and go toe to toe. Right, that's what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, bro. They, they bite. They're little, yeah. They're like cute, but they bite. Right, but um, you're gonna have a kangaroo soon. A kangaroo, yo, those things are kind of yeah, scary. Though. You see those like big jack kangaroos? Yeah. My friend Lou said Hell he's no. like we're getting a too. kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, no, they got the big claws and they have the fox. Hell they have the fox no. there already, that but fox it like kind of freaks out and it hides in the corner. It's like. <sighs> Wow. It's not really fun, but supposedly if you really try, it'll come to you. But it really doesn't. They got cobras. I like the cobras. The cobras are dope. Cobras are fire. Like the cobras are fire. Yeah, I, I, dude, the cobras are tight, dude. Yeah, the monkeys and uh, yeah, the monkey peed on me. We're 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 uh, we're at odds right now. Monkeys didn't pee on me. Oh, yeah. They loved me. They gave me kisses. Monkey kisses. Yeah, no, monkeys are good. Me. So no one's like, is this on me? Or? You like a lot of no. little things. I see. I like little things. I like <laughs> men. <laughs> With little John, packages, I'm like let down. I, came in. <laughs> I have a midget <laughs> fetish. I'm freak. I'm totally freak. So I watched oh, a shit. porn show <laughs> years ago when it had a woman. She had elephantitis in her vagina, and these midgets were going to slip inside right into her vagina. And I was like, "Damn, that's what I need." Yeah. And I'm like, I was corrupted at 18 years old, whoa, and it whoa. went downhill from there. Pause, so. pause, oh, pause oh, this shit. conversation. Like, whoa, there whoa. was <laughs> slip and slide midgets into a vagina. Again? Yeah, elephantitis vagina. Okay, I just wanted to clear. Like, it up. swelled up I like just boom to, just, just, and then it went downhill for me too it went downhill yeah, just, yeah. where do you go down. from there total midget fetish where does the hill end up and then I took care of Bridget the midget and she peed on me in the airport she's kind of uh, she was intoxicated and I had to pick her from the airplane flight and I didn't know how bad she was and she's so drunk she peed on me and then I had to carry her and take care of her in a room and then when I took her to the dressing room I had to like lower the blinds oh, wow. and all that stuff that you might know they have to do what people don't normally think about and make it like lower the towels and <laughs> help her out, like all that stuff. And that's my job. But she was like a nasty midget. And she was like mean. Oh, and she was a she's mean like, midget. Yeah, it's all right. And she was a sloppy drunk and she bit me and she peed I on me. bit you? Yeah. So I got bit and peed on by a midget porn star. I mean, wow. you know. That's not many solid. people that say that. I she's have the video for you, clips. Bridget. She's I still looking for I you. I had the video clips. Like, it's crazy. I was like, I can't lose in their gold. Don't she's worry, like, I, I don't need bite. to take a shit. I'm Liar. Like, screaming in the bathroom. It's crazy. Yeah. I want to see the oil wrestling rematch of this. <laughs> Katrina yeah. versus Bridget the Midget oiled up. I mean, she Let's go. I'm she the referee. Like, I just started her down. Like, come on, lick it. <laughs> oh my wow. God. Do it, do your job. I'm going to trap you around my legs. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a single freak. I'm going to say. And we're there. <laughs> it might be never to be alone with her. <laughs> I'm a freak. Are you sure? I'm a freak. Total. Oh I heard gosh. all these, like, I'm all about it. We hear, like, how, you know, their packages are bigger than you think, you know? Boy, yeah. I'm, looking at it, I'm like, whoa, like, let's measure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I was like, hold on. She went there. I went there. Yo, Justin's but... girlfriend's going to be in the parking lot waiting for me. Like, right, you brought my yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Drama now. Hey, it wasn't me, babe. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't me. Now we're <laughs> so, what I think is, I feel like people of your stature get more girls than a regular person. I feel like it's one of those things. Like, number one, it's a notch. You know what I'm saying? Number two, yeah. it's a curiosity thing. Number three, why the hell not? And he's both. He's black and he's a midget. You're hitting like all milestones at once. You got to get three oh legged Levi G's. Let's, <laughs> do it. Let's just do it. We hit all of it. All the differences. You I mean, like they the say, once you go black, you never go back. And then you're like, oh my God, midget, like bigger than his. You can fathom. Like, why wouldn't you? He's got I think like I'm about to take kids. it home, man. <laughs> like, teach me your ways. Teach oh, me your ways, God. sir. Oh, Padme. <laughs> you know. But you won't be in too, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want a bad Santa, homie? This is a start. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a start. What a start. <laughs> yeah, man. I've been doing this bad Santa thing for about... This is my second year doing it. And, uh... 
the response has been incredible. Yo, I see you picking up some steam with you. You're booking some solid parties on this, though. Yeah. You know what? I feel like you embody that character better than the dude that played it with Billy Bob Thornton. Like, yeah. I see you, and like, you know what? I see you as that. I feel like I'm a, a genuine str- asshole. Like, you are. It's not talk. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm a judge. That's I'm, me. That's me. Uh, hey, man. I own it. He owns it. Yeah, it, it, that's my defense mechanism. <laughs> you know what? I think that should be one of your one of your uh, one of your taglines is just the biggest asshole you'll ever meet. Like, <laughs> Literally. You know what I'm saying? Like, like him? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you have yeah. no idea, bro. Right. Give exactly. it five minutes. Exactly. Exactly. Like, yeah. So it wasn't really nothing for me to, I guess, get into character and all that. Right. Because yeah. I, I'm it's me. comfortable you're yourself yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i totally. mean like i don't even like plan this i just go wild i just go for it you know <laughs> we have no type of script it just no is scripts. what it is we just go for what is so. yeah, that's the awesome part right. it's, it's like it's fun you never know what's gonna happen exactly so. yeah. i tell everyone come on visit us surprise yeah. us make uh, it fun so Hey, I'm you're to... awesome. So fun. So. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, man. I'm not doing anything. He's going to let dance for me a little bit. I'm a fighter. Don't worry. Yo, All right, oh, I'm... my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's showing his hands on Facebook like he's got... It's not your hands anybody's worried about. It's Katrina's hands. Where's Katrina's my hands, bro? <laughs> Like, like... <laughs> yeah, man. Like, in the ladies' section, I mean, you know, I did pretty well i'm know. sure yeah but i slowed down man because you know kids come out of all that playing <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you know how many kids you got i got three kids three wow yeah three different babies mothers <laughs> okay so, yeah yes, i definitely like to play <laughs> I, I, I love how you cleaned it up like baby mothers yeah, yeah. baby mamas baby mothers <laughs> That's Very dope. well taking care of my kids appreciate that's good. y'all that's well, awesome man that's a fact Yep. Yeah, man. So, Oz, man, you ready to act the ass <laughs> with me, man? I, do we gotta act? Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be yourselves. You don't right. need that to act. You guys Frank are warped like, and twisted wait, enough. Like, you're like, gonna be try. bad Santa. And you're gonna drink all this alcohol. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's I great. They're I'm trying like, to get me to join okay. it. I was like, okay. <laughs> Yo, I got um, I got this tooth blacking out stuff, so I'm gonna black out my front teeth. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So right I'm gonna there. go to like a straight home. I'm not gonna shower for like the next couple of days. <laughs> oh no, you have to shower. <laughs> not gonna brush my teeth. It's gonna be all messed up. I'm gonna walk in there, actually high on crack. <laughs> oh my nice, god. Nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Like, just joking. <laughs> We're gonna come in. CPS be at my door. Right. What are you doing? Right. We heard you last night, Oz. <laughs> yep. Bring the boy down. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You know what? That's the cool thing about the show is like one of the things we try to concentrate on is healthy living. Like it's healthy not. Living, we have fun too. Right. right. Well, that's right. telling everybody to stop yeah. drinking. No drinking. No drink. But you know what? Handle your business. You know what I'm saying? Be a parent. Be a dad. Be a mom. Do what you got to do. Yeah. And for me, a lot of times those things can't mesh together. Like you can have a couple cocktails here and there, but once you start the hardcore partying and the hardcore drugs and the rest of that, it doesn't mesh with being a parent because it affects your mentality as a human being and how right. you carry on yourself. Right. We're and, like life had because other shows on the station are rehab and like sober radio or not. We are like better in your life. So right. maybe you can't get sober. Maybe you're doing heroin, but you want to smoke pot instead. Okay, right. good for you. You're not That's doing what, heroin anymore. Right. Oh, well, you went for drinking a bottle a day to five shots a day. Good for you. We're getting there. We're right. working towards something. We don't say that we're rehab radio. We are life hab. Anything that betters your life. I'm all for it. Yeah, right. that's what we're all about. So yeah. anyone wants a better life. I mean, yeah. with money, and we talk about financial advisement, and we talk about everything, domestic abuse, all of it. So. And, and shout out to uh, yeah. somebody that really helped me out with my my healthy living thing is Noah Job, my trainer from Paramount Performance, man. Like, he got my body in check. He got my abs right. He got everything ready to rock and roll. And it was those little tiny steps weekly with him, the advice that he'd give, and it just helped every single week. Little by little. Yeah, right. and I, I'm able to pass that information on everybody else because I'm not any his damn food looks really good perfect. on the internet but He's I don't know beast. I'm kind of lazy I'm like oh I ate McDonald's when I watched Noah's food <laughs> <laughs> it looks like so like bad <laughs> it looks like you like the beef I do I like the beef uh, <laughs> I like lots of chicken uh, and like, roosters mm-hmm. I like the ock I like the ock a lot no. the, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. okay hey the bigger the better right no. <laughs> <laughs> we're small and fun <laughs> pint size <laughs> pint no. size fun is oh, good too fun size huh fun size I want fun size bites <laughs> you ever heard the oxymoron jumbo shrimp <laughs> I have I have 
and there's a band out in Rochester that plays all the time called Dumbo Shamp. Candy okay. cigarette? Oh. Yeah, all right. I brought them in. I thought they were fun. They were at the dollar store, so I can't help it. You know, good for children nowadays. You get lit out here. They, they're yeah, the same. Man, they used to have the like so gum Scooby-Doo. that was wrapped. Yeah, you could like Scooby-Doo. blow into it. The like, candy cigarettes and they, like kind of have a puff of smoke if you did. They're like totally illegal now, I guess. There's something for kids. I want my Crap kid to give us some candy cigarettes. I'm gonna, give your, <laughs> I'm gonna no, give your kids some. I'm gonna give us some. No, that's just a practice. Like, be like my daddy said here. this. I'd be like, you know what your daddy does. Oh, oh, my god. oh. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she threw me I the fire. Out. <laughs> she threw me She's a wild card. But I got a gift because it's, it's cute. Oops, I knocked his phone. Did, Look, I got a son of this. Woo! A little dinosaur. I thought you could enjoy it. I'm like, it's Christmas for him. Oh, he yeah. loves yeah. Yeah. stuff. Yep. Yeah, I feel like it. I haven't really, I don't really know him as well, but I watch his pictures on Facebook all the time. I'm like, I feel like I know him deep down, right? <laughs> Yo, you From gotta a do distance. Me a What's up? <laughs> so, um, after we're done with this party, my kid's kind of doubting the Santa Claus thing a little bit. So, okay. I told baby mom, I'm going to take the outfit. And, and bring it home? Yeah, I'm going to bring it home. And I'm going to be sitting there talking to Peter the elf, like little elf on the <laughs> shelf, dude, uh-huh. and like writing stuff down. He's going to come downstairs, check it out. But wouldn't it be dope if you saw them and you were like, hey, you, and you went to talk to him until I heard you were good and I disappeared Santa Claus. Ah, oh, You'll be so that. confusing. He's an elf. He will. So you know what like, I'll do it for your kids if you want me to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just pop up and we said it. Do that. Like I have like you smoking a house. cigarette with the candy. I have you come to the house as Santa. Hell That's yeah. It's like he was shaking his hand as a ticket. Like, all right. Oh, man, I'm a professional. Like, I I'm a professional, it. but not a cigarette, though. I'm a professional. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> a cigarette, yeah. He's like, ah, nah, nah. You know? They, yeah. they are Scooby-Doo cigarettes, though. Smoking Scooby-Doo cigarettes, y'all. Scooby-Doo cigarettes. Can't be that. So how about Cuomo said he's going to legalize weed in New York State? Yeah, I saw that. So it's crazy. Weed. I don't know. I agree. How that, I that's think gonna we be a good do and it. A bad thing. Yep. Good All and my bad. boys gonna be like, "Yo, I'm hurt and trying to find real jobs." You, know what I'm <laughs> you, you gotta get nine to five now, man. Yeah. What y'all gonna Screw. do now? Devalues the sale. I mean, all the McDonald's and Walmart's about to be back now. <laughs> <laughs> Overnight workers, all y'all. They're all stuck at y'all. They looking for y'all. They waiting for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all McDonald's dream. Y'all but, I wonder if they're going to drug test you still, though, but I think it's a good time to cut into a song break, and it's our actual hour break, so we got to nice. announce it. Da, 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 da. Right. Justin, thanks for coming by. Welcome to Hangout. Thank you so Hi, much. Man. He's amazing. We look uh, forward to your show this me. weekend. You're so Thank you for having me, Thank man. You. I'll be back anytime you have we me. We love it. You're so if amazing. If I got any time, man, I want to shout out my friend QB. He lost his life, man. I miss oh, you, I'm boy. I'm sorry. All right, sorry man. Tragedy. I love Rochester, man. I love y'all. I'm out. Yes. Peace. Thank you. Um, hi, everybody. Happy holidays from Liz at Tally Ho, Rochester, New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very strippery Christmas. <laughs> it's a very strippery Christmas. It's like Holly Ho Christmas party was today, so all the girls are saying a shout out. Yay, everyone say Merry Christmas. We- ho, ho, ho. Who's your favorite host? No, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, so we man. are WFRZ LP, Rochester Free Radio, 106.3, RochesterFreeRadio.com. I'm Katrina Lee. We have Austin. What up, what up? I have a new Facebook page, and it's now Beyond the Pole Live. Get back on. And you can find us and explore us. We only have like 11 likes so far, but we're building a building because, you know, someone shut down. It's like extra like soundy, but yeah, so we're here and we have multiple people in the house and we're excited to talk about different things. So what happened in the past week and a half since I haven't been here is because I was sick because of major medical emergency (laughs) is that the bridge had its first patient in Rochester with Dr. Cool and Henrietta in the offices, and it went amazing. Nice, very nice. Yeah, so the bridge stops Dokes sit next, so you put on your 18th to 24th hour of withdrawal, and it tricks your brain into thinking you're not getting dope sick. And it worked. But just for the record, if you're trying heroin or you're looking to try heroin, you're a freaking idiot. It's a bad idea at this you're point in your life. Like, I mean, honestly, like, I mean, who would do that no now? Empathy yeah. for you. you're, you're just an idiot. So. Yeah, at this point, if you're actually starting it, that's foolish. Because you know all the rest. So that's just kind of pathetic. But yeah, no. yeah people are already hooked on. It's different. But this guy was 48 years old, has struggled on and off with it. His name was John. John Doe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hi, John. Name is John. But um, there's a special deal going on. So if you want to get help 
and you want to be part of a free screening and be assisted with this, you can be part of the Gates Chai Lai Police Department. And all you have to do is go to Ooh. Gates to Recovery and say, I want help. And if you fit the screening, they will pay for the $995 bridge to be put on you for free. There's some little things that go in the background, obviously, you yeah. know, little strings are always tugged. Um, it's common sense. But um, pretty much what you have to do is um, you have to not be able to use. And uh, what happens is in the first um, 18 hours that you had to go to, we couldn't find a rehab bed that will, like, not allow you to be, like, um, medicated. So you're kind of in a hotel room where you watch you and make sure you can't sneak out and get drugs and sneak around. I don't know if I'd want you watching me. I'm watching, but you, you can't, can't like, sit me out right at your door, like, in front, like, you can't use drugs. We're watching you. We're watching oh. it happen, so you can't be sneaky. You're not going to go with it, because we don't want you using heroin well, while being sense. on the device, because there's no point to do it. It doesn't help. Huh. So it blocks being able to feel the heroin? Yeah, it stops. It tricks your mind. No, it's, it tricks your mind and saying you're not going to do it at all. That's pretty good. Yeah. So that's what it is, the whole deal. And then you have to follow through and possibly filmed or make sure nothing bad happens. Makes we sense. don't want to like pay for people for a thousand dollars almost at the time who aren't going to follow through. Yeah. That, now that eventually Medicaid sense. will cover it, and it's different. And then who cares? Like it's all up to them. But right now it's coming from funding from, you know, Rochester. Good. Well, and congratulations Gates on the first to, Gates to Recovery or whatever you call it. And Randy's the new owner at Gates to Recovery is really trying hard to make a difference in the world along with the chief. Thanks, Randy. Yeah, and the chief of Gates, so Can we go back to strippers? Yeah, let's go back to strippers. I'm just saying this, that's different. So lot of strippers are hooked on it, so that's why we mentioned That is it. true. What is your so, favorite strip club, Justin? Yeah, we went. Oh, he just looked at him like his mouth. I'm going to get in so like, much trouble for this. You're going to get in so much trouble. He's going to get beat when he gets home. Shout out to the only strip club I've ever been to in Rochester, The Barrel. Oh, oh is there party one. night? Tonight's the party, the party night. Big shout out to The Barrel. Yes, 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 yes. Party night. Katrina, what's your favorite strip club? In Rochester or where? In Rochester, here. In Rochester. I always, um, honestly, like... I don't want to get myself in trouble. I like the Mirage. You like the Mirage? I haven't worked there a long time, but that's where I started, and I always liked it. And it's like I like the whole rundown and Life Without Shame and the whole thing and all the features and all that stuff. I don't work there. I work at Tally Ho, and I work at um, Playmates in Byron. So there's no place like home. No, there's no place like that home. But that's my true joke, home. Right. Like, you know, I came up to Dennis one day, and I'm like, I miss you, and I gave him a hug. I'm like, why do you hate me so much? He's like, I don't. And, like, I felt like it was all problems. Oh, yeah, Gary, but, the producer. Um, Gary, what's your favorite strip club? Gary's a pig. He loves fucking Deli Ho. Well, that would have to be Tally Ho because I'm there almost every night. So he's there. He's there. He's there. You he's there. got a Tally Ho lifer up in here. He's a lifer, but Tally Ho's good. I love Ignacio. The Ignacio's owner a cool and everyone. Guy. Yeah, they're great. For sure cool. It's just small, so I mean, it's not bad, but it's hard to. You know, work it. No, really, strip clubs are really all that big from what I've seen. I haven't been to strip clubs in Rochester. Like they aren't big, and you go to other clubs that are huge, like our areas, like um, Buffalo. Like it's different. I love but, Canada. But um, Playmates is fun because it's fully nude and it's triple X licensed. So you have live sex shows on stage. You can't wait with more. Bro, this is this is how you can make some of that extra change <laughs> over here. Oh yeah, I'm listening. I'm uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure they haven't had somebody of your stature coming and do no, some show. No, not yet. No. I'm, some Hello. people would pay like she'd be paying like. People pay, yeah. Especially her. Look, she's yeah, she looking she for a Walt right now. Right now. She want a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, man. But yeah, no, it's great. Um, It's live sex shows, and you can do whatever you want on stage. They're open uh, literally from Tuesday through Saturday. And it's a good time. All right. Like, well, yeah, I was there last night. It was really good. So I was there. It's dead. And uh, we kind of were like sitting around waiting to close. And one girl, Jordan, is like, I want to leave early. I want to leave early. So they let her go. There's three of us. It was Candy Chaos. Who you know her? Candy, Candy Chaos. Chaos uh, Nirvana. Tatiana through the years. Oh, hi. She, uh, from my Wednesday's Sausage Castle. Oh, boy. Love her. I love her. Nothing bad to say. She's gorgeous. Beautiful butt. Blah, blah, blah. And a new girl who's gorgeous, too. I knew her from one of their clubs, but I, I don't know her name in Rochester. But we were there, and the guy's like, 
I'm bored. And he came in. He's wasted. And he had like a broken leg. And he was like a whole like walker. You can't say nothing about nobody in legs, bro. And it's funny. No, we're all damaged. All our legs are damaged. It's really crazy. I was like, oh, your legs messed up. My legs messed up. This way you stand out. And he's like, I'm bored. And, and he's my legs like, are gone. Yeah, we all stand totally confused. Out. He's like, he's wasted in the last half hour. And he's like, I'm oh, going to no. take all the girls in this building and I'm going to spend all their time in the back with me at one time and make their night. We're like, yeah. So he bought us all for triples and then um, gave us boy. all at least $40 a piece. Nice. And tips to be nice. So, I mean, that he made the boy. whole night. That's what I'm talking about. Last half hour. It's like, yeah, he might not remember what happened, but we really appreciate you. <laughs> His you checkbook right will. now. Your wife might be angry because you had a wedding ring, but we love you anyways. <laughs> Help feed the strippers. We're hungry and it's Christmas time. There goes a kid's college fund. <laughs> yeah. The whole ho ho's got to eat, too. The ho we got to eat, too. You know, we got to take care of ourselves, Jesus. you know. <laughs> oh, my God. It is. It's a rough life, you know. But somebody's got to live it. <laughs> then you do he a one so hobble nice. at a time. And we did good music. He has good music and everything. Well, talk know. about music. Gary, so, the producer, has been really kicking up in the music over here. We are. He's doing a lot of songs that I strip to, but yay. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to ask Lithium you. Lithium Channel. Whoops, as I Fumble. Drop in. What's your favorite song to strip to? Um, I like... Um, Don't lie. I know, I like a lot. Don't lie. She I likes like some a lot creepy of stuff, I'm a mix. I look at it and cater to the audience, so I like a lot of hot stuff. But um, I like Paul Hey Pretty. Um, it's a good one. You ever uh, heard of it? Yeah. Never. Me either. Lithium, a lot. That's Anything a good song. Lithium, the station. Um, yeah. well, I was thinking like you know, Poe, hey, pretty, you got her. Angry Johnny. What? Do you um, know? Dewey Brothers, Blackwater, about- America, a Horse with No Name. I like um, Led Zeppelin, uh, Nobody's Fault But Mine, okay. Pour the Lemon some Song, Sugar on no, Me, this will Every Stripper yeah. it's on like, the Planet. If you're 80 or something from the 80s, like you're old, like this, like. Dating yourself. That like, shows boom. how long I've been to a strip club in. Warrant, just, you know, Terry Mom, stuff like that. I just, I don't. Uh, Candy Chaos did uh, ICP, ICP. Cherry Pie, that was a good one. Well, I, I haven't heard that in a while. I was like, oh yeah, I know that song. We're all singing along. We're like, yeah. Right. We're like, bank, like Cherry Pie, ba ba bum. Wow. It was fun. We had a blast. It was a really good night. Just it was what? slow, but it was enough where you could sneak around and enjoy your like party materials and still have a good time. What's your favorite <laughs> song to strip to, Justin? Yeah, I got him off. He almost said something. My girl, listen, bro. <laughs> hey, I don't want to give Katrina any more ideas. I know, okay? I'm excited. I'm ready to rape him now. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, no worry. Anything, anything, R. Kelly though, it's gonna go down. Oh Kelly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, if you ever stripped R. Kelly, it's gotta be to the Dave Chappelle cuff. I'm gonna piss on you. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> Yo. I like old school stuff too. Tennessee. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was a good song. Yeah, California. I haven't Tupac, thought of that song in a decade. Oh, okay. They're the old ones out, you know, it's fun, you know. You should throw out an oldie just for the cause. Nothing wrong. Let's bump and grind. Bump and grind. Yeah, look, 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 you got to do it in. Do you got any oldies yeah. for, the, for the people out here? <laughs> <laughs> throw them in. You got to throw old school stuff. Gary's looking at the computer right now. I see the wheels turning. He's like, but. I think it's a good time yeah, for a uh, br- 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 private br- show. Oh, get a private show. Oh, chicka, woo, woo. Me and Katrina will fight. She takes her clothes off. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. We are WFRZ LP Rochester Free Radio 106.3. And I'm Katrina Lee. What up? What up? How house. you doing? We are now a new Facebook page, Beyond the Pole Live. Yes, And ma'am. you can check us out on Beyond the Pole Radio with Katrina Lee on YouTube. YouTube. Absolutely. And we're going to eventually have a Facebook site, and, or not a Facebook, but it's YouTube. Already up, but we're going to be Yeah, we're going to have an actual website and like go, 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 because, you know, why not? So we've got one of uh, my Lots favorite of people. Lots going on. Yeah, your special well, adventure. Special adventure. My we favorite call people. this drunken nights of fun. Yeah, absolutely. One of my favorite places I like to go. They've yes. got the best chicken wings you can find. Uh, Lake Ciders. My boy, my cousin Abdul, my cousin Artie. And over it's in here. Charlotte. Yep, Charlotte, right by yeah. Abbott's. What's going on, guys? How you doing tonight? Hi. Hello. What up, cousin? How you doing? What's going on? Chilling, brother. How you doing? Hi. Hi, y'all. I'm just kicking it. Yeah, I was just talking about your chicken wings, man. What you got over there? What's the best flavor wing today? We got chicken wings for days, but we are the chicken wing king, man. I say it all the time. Nobody believes me. But you got to try it, man. Chicken wing king, the best. About 65 to 70 flavors of chicken wings. 
Oh, yeah. Better than, than, than another. What is the number one flavor chicken wing everyone is ordering tonight? Um, right now we had we had a couple hot chicken wings, just hot. I don't hot? know why That's someone's boring. Hot stuff, you need like I know, some <laughs> sriracha or something. I don't Yo, know. They got sriracha. <laughs> One of my favorites is Artie's thigh rub. Okay, oh, that's the best. Artie's thyroid. Yo, I it's haven't tried fire. it. Fire, so good. It's fire. Not, it's not hot, fire. but it's, it's good. It makes it burn like gonorrhea. Jesus, <laughs> balls. It makes it burn like gonorrhea. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, who's who's bartending tonight? Who's Shelby's bartending tonight? What up, Shelby? How you doing? Artie's cooking. Artie's cooking. Yeah, Artie's cooking. You know me. I always yeah. chill, just drink. I take shots. Yo, so what's the drinking night for Lake Siders? What night do you guys go in? What is the night if you want to go get lit up? What is the night to go there? <laughs> Listen, the night to come here is a Friday night, man. We have a DJ. It's a good mixed crowd. You know, a lot of fun. Friday night's the night to come here. No I'm doubt. Here most hey. Fridays, you know, so you come get drunk with me. No doubt. Why is there a low key night if you're like kind of hiding, but you still want fun? <laughs> in, in the I'm like a low secret, night, like you know, low key person. The week is very low key. It's nice. It's just, it's not busy. It's, you know, 15, 20 people. It's nice, relaxing. The weekend's always busy, but in the summertime, there is no low key night down here. Yeah, no, I get that. See, yeah, what I like to do, I go to Lake Centers, I pick my little corner, and I eat chicken wings. I drink my beer. I keep my hoodie up. That's what I want to do. It's dope. Like, I this love low it. Key, no, no, sorry, but they all like filter around me. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm trying. No. Nah. <laughs> I, I get my little spot and I, I do my thing and I just walk out the back door when I'm done. Nobody yeah, bothers me. It's fantastic. The bar is being 64 foot long, so there's yeah. a lot of places you can just sit and hide away, you know? Yeah, yeah. there's a bunch of TVs, too. How many TVs you guys got there? I got 18 TVs. Nice. 18, very, very impressive. Nice. All right, cousin. Just want to call say what's up. See you guys are doing tonight. Yeah, so, so who's the pleasure, drunkest person in the bar? The can you give me oh. on the show? Oh, yeah. Who's, come in person. Yo, who's yeah, the drunkest person. person that you've had at your bar? Maybe not tonight, but over the weekend. Who is the drunkest person? Tell me a story. One drunk person. Something funny. Because the Cowboys were playing. Yeah. And we got our ass whooped. So I got really, really, really drunk on Sunday. Really drunk yeah. on Sunday? Did you do anything that you regretted? Did I do anything stupid? Yes. No, not, not, not this time. Not this time. <laughs> not this time. It's going to happen eventually. Oh, no, it Come does. On. Listen, Come on. You can't I've, let everyone down. I've you have to go one off. I've been in more fights because of Abdul the wall, than anybody you know, else in my wild. life. I fought because of him more than I fought because of me. Absolutely, eventually it happens. It does. It's okay, it's okay. We're, we're too old to fight. This is a nice, nice establishment. We had too my much father, money to fight. To we get to. No, we don't fight at Lakeside. I'm talking about when we were kids, man. We were oh, kids. We, oh, yeah, no, that's no that's not Lakeside. That's a whole other hour co- conversation. We don't even want to get into that. Nope. Yeah, we got to <laughs> wander the street somewhere else and fight. Like, Absolutely, yeah. No, we don't. I'm going next week to the radio show. I'm going to come hang out with you guys. You're coming next week? Yes, come. Come on next week. It'll be fun. We like that. We're fun. So no you love us. All right, cousin. I'll talk to you later, homie. All right. Bye. All right, Thank you for calling in. Bye. You too. Thank Peace. You too. All right. Bye-bye. So, yeah. Like, things have been going really well. Um, lots of bar exciting things in Rochester. And Rochester literally got the bridge with the first doctor. That's amazing. Finally That's got huge. a doctor on call with that. That's cool. And it gets up So, we have the first patient. It worked extremely well. Uh, and Gates to Police is going to pay for the right candidates to get it taken care of. Um, we don't have a Medicaid approval yet. Eventually it will happen, but not yet. But really nice people want to fund and pay for it. You might be a test monkey, but you know you got to do what they it. say in the beginning for free coverage. But what do you expect if you're getting services for free? Be almost $1,000 for free. It's like, yeah, if you're a dancer and some guy's paying for your apartment, what do you expect is going to happen? You got to, uh, uh the other way. But you don't have to actually do that for the bridge. You just have to smile and be like filmed or something. <laughs> but yeah, it's Gates to Recovery and it's in um, Gates right by the town hall and the chief is there and they're going to screen the right potential people who they think can follow through with it, and they will pay for you for your $995 device. I think it's time for a quick song break, and then we're going to slowly wrap up. All right. Hey, 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 we're back. It's Katrina Lee and Austin. We are Beyond the Pole Radio. You can find us on YouTube, Beyond the Pole Radio with Katrina Lee, and on our new Facebook page, just starting. Not many likes, but we're just getting there. We had to restart because of a stupid jerk who ruined our show, and blah, 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 whatever. Pitiful, but we're now Beyond the Pole Live. What up, what up? So, what up, what up? Now we have a little shout out from Tally Ho in Rochester. We can go in Henrietta and see lots of hoes. Oh, beautiful girls and showgirls with lots of class. I work there too, so I can't say much. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so give us out. Oh, we're not ready yet. It's getting there. But we're rounding up the end of the night. It's Christmas time. Lots of parties. We're not going to be here for Christmas, obviously, because our show starts next week. We are narrowing on our two-year anniversary. Yeah, yeah. We're going to party, and it's New Year's Eve coming up. And um, I don't know what your resolution is, Oz, yet, but I don't quite have mine. Mine's dressed more like a pirate. My whole thing was that it's like everyone says New Year, New You, and I'm like, no, it's not New Year, New Me. It's New Year, No More Ass Monkeys. So I don't want that. So it's all about me and fixing my life, not letting other individuals who are losers ruin my life and affect me. So boo you out of my life because I'm actually really successful and have my life on track if no one else gets in my way. Everybody's like, you can be whatever you want when you grow up. And I'm like, I want to be a pirate. Yeah, I want to be a pirate. Right. Like, a crotch pirate. And I don't want to be a new, for a new year. No, it took me a while to get to this place I'm at right now. I just want to be a pirate for a little while. Yeah, so. I mean, pirate's fun. Right. Here's my pirate. I'm going to get my beard I was just like a Jack pirate. Sparrow. I literally thought I was going to lose my leg and I'd be a like pirate. And I was saying, like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm going to train a pirate, uh, parrot and I'm going to have it on me. And I'm like, bah I'd be peg legged and I'm going to make all the money I can. I can <laughs> like, I might not be a fetish. So, I oh, know we're narrowing it down to the end of the night. It's a tragedy, da, but you'll da, catch da. us next week. Boom! Right after Christmas. Yeah, so boy. the show will still be on, unlike Thanksgiving. All right. I'm your and, boy, um, Oz Tozen. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram, Ozzy in, Oz Tozen. I got Katrina Lee over here. Yes, I'm Katrina Lee, K A T R N A L E, on Facebook. And my rehab site, Bye. if you don't want to see any strip club stuff, is Katrina L E L E Lee on Facebook and it's all filtered and you know it's nice and boring and blah 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 it's so they're all scrubbed. public so you actually have to join so you can hide for your wives so they don't know wives wife whatever girlfriends yeah. multiple people because a lot of guys aren't kind of pigs out there so it's amazing hey, whatever floats your goat but yeah like whatever makes you happy it's the holidays take care of yourself and not necessarily others alright yeah, yeah. hopefully you did and donate to charity like Dawn and Four Play Buzz did with yeah. toys for a tot you give a toy for your twat that's what we do we care about Twats sexual and hygiene <laughs> and kids sexual hygiene kids and make you feel happy because what do you expect in life bah humbug yeah have a merry christmas merry, everybody merry christmas. enjoy your new year happy holidays hope everybody's safe and stay blessed guys yes All and right. we'll be here next week bye we're out